go. This is Luke Dillon, your United Kingdom surfer. Great okay. to see talent out of Britain. Yep. Finally back on the qualifying series. He's got the big backhand, solid hits. Hi, my name's Luke Dillon. I'm 26 years old and I am a professional surfer from down in Newquay in Cornwall. When surfing was announced as an Olympic sport, I was buzzing because it opens the door to so many possibilities about how we can bring surfing to the mainstream. Now that it's going to be brought to billions of people across the world, it's such a great opportunity, especially here in Britain, to you know, back someone like myself who's trying to go and win a medal and, and just bring surfing to the mainstream public in the UK. Down here in Cornwall, especially from my experiences, it's people who come down on holiday, take surf lessons, get out in the sea and realise like, how cool it is and how much it can change your life. Surfing's really helped my mental health. I remember when I was a kid, um, things weren't going so well for me in school and surfing was my way of going out relaxing and, and just forgetting about what was going on and that was my escape from reality. It's just you in the ocean. You really feel yourself connecting with nature. And the more that you go surfing, the more you realise how much we've got to take care of our oceans because you feel so good and positive when you're in there. And then you see like you see trash and rubbish and stuff floating through the lineup and it really echoes that fact that we need to do more to protect them. If we're going to enjoy them as they're meant to be enjoyed and, and appreciate them for what they are, then we need to put in our time and effort to make sure that they stay nice and clean. My journey to the Olympics is not an easy road, but it's doable. It's got the classic British underdog story. So at the minute I have to qualify in the British Championships, top three, and then progress onto the World Championships, which will hopefully take place in a few months. And then from there you, you're probably looking at a top a top 10 finish in the world. It's so doable that I really believe that I've got a really strong chance of doing this, but I need help and and it's not, unfortunately, no matter how much work I put in, just the financial impact of it is gonna make it very tough. I'd love to have the backing of brands who want to support my journey to the Olympics and watch British surfing grow exponentially.